Hi guys, my name is Anthony and this is Crypto for you. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about what's going on the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to give you a little update. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about how Bitcoin could be in this falling wedge. And this is actually bullish in the long term. I'm going to be explaining to you guys where we could go, where Bitcoin just actually like confirm support and are we gonna keep dumping I'm gonna be explaining to you guys all that and more in this video so let's get into it and guys I saw your comments that I was a little talking too fast so I'm gonna actually talk a bit slower and gonna try to pronounce my words I'm actually gonna be working on this trust me I'm actually working on this so now let's go into the video so let's talk about the actual Bitcoin dump because look at this we dumped to forty four thousand seven hundred dollars forty four thousand eight hundred depends how close you want to be to the actual pr price where we actually fell now the price I told us not to break below was 42 44 is a little tiny bit higher than 42 but that's still I would say fine because now I discovered something new when we were actually going up we, we actually went up to 42,000 then we actually dumped, we had a 30%, 40% dump. Let's see how big of a dump we actually had. We had a 31% dump. After that, we kept going up, and right now we're actually dumping again. Now, if we would have actually fallen down to a 31% dump, that would have to take us to 39,600. A little tiny bit below this, like, higher high, but it's going to be at another target so this target would be another support level you can see that we had a support right here i mean a resistance right here we had a resistance right here so there's two resistance points so this could be a target we could fall to why i don't think we could fall down to this level is because we are in this triangle of course this triangle it will vary where we will actually go depending on where we when we will actually hit the top because look at this if we actually landed right here then the triangle would be like this long. It would be pretty long. But if we actually go sideways for a little and land somewhere like this, then it becomes much steeper and the potential for us going down is much higher. So we go much farther. We can fall much farther. So we can fall to this level. So if we go to the top at 52,000, let's just say it's 52,000, because it can be a lot of things. You mean, I mean, if it goes up to 66,000 and gets rejected, it could be this kind of triangle, even though that's going to be a weird triangle. But, depends when we're actually going to, like, hit the top, this is going to be that type of triangle. But I do believe that this is another falling wedge, because one, there is this falling wedge, but two... Bitcoin is actually doing something called an Elliott wave. You guys are lots, probably all of you guys know what an Elliott wave is. It is a really common wave. It's just a go up, go down scenario. That's the scenarios that it is. Five wave move, go up, go down, go up, go down, go up. And then we have some kind of correction. So if Bitcoin is actually doing this scenario, that means we could be doing a correction right now we could be doing in the fourth wave we could be having a b c correction wave if this is true and let me just get this falling wedge out of the way that means we could come down let's just say this was the first a wave then we could go up and then we could have go down again now where would this take us if this is true well if we go to the four hourly time frame and we get the fibonacci retracement because this is how you figure out where the b wave is going to be and you guys can see that usually we go to the 0 0.5 or 0 0.618 ratio. So the 0 0.5 is at 51,600. 0 0.618 is at 53,200. This is the levels that Bitcoin could go. If it goes higher than that, this is not an ABC correction wave. But sometimes there, there sometimes is something called like a B blow off top or something like that. And it's when the B wave goes higher than the A wave and, the, and then we just crash. And that could be also like an M. But... Looks like if we get rejected, which we are looking like we're going to dump, if we start dumping, then we could be falling down to the C wave. We could be starting the C wave. Now, my question is, where is the C wave? Well, like I said, there was a target at 42,000 that we shouldn't break, but there's also another line at 39,000, which could be also a potential support. Now, look at this Fibonacci retracement. This Fibonacci retracement takes us in between 43,500 
and 40,000. That is where we could draw. So let's just say we tap 42,000. We would be in the middle of 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 8. That would be a golden pocket. So after this jump right here, we could be doing and completing the fifth and final wave of the other wave. But don't be alarmed because we could be seeing some kind of dump. But after that, we could be seeing another Elliott wave because Elliott waves can have Elliott waves inside of them and they can be part of bigger Elliott waves. So the five wave move that we are talking about here, this one, two, three, four, five wave has smaller Elliott waves in them, which is kind of cool. Look at this. We have a one, two, three, four, five scenario over here, then a dump, then another one. Well, that was an Elliott wave. But look at this Elliott wave right here. Then if we go even closer, you guys can see that. This wave right here, even though it is look, it does look a little small. You guys see that there was a one, then this was a dump, and a two. Then we have a three. Then this was a dump before, and then this was a, a rise of five. So there's LE waves inside LE waves inside LE waves. So this wave could be potentially a bigger wave. It could be part of wave one. So this wave, let's just say we go up to 66,000 because of this resistance, that is where I think we're going to go. Also, another reason coming up later in this video. After we tap this target and we start dumping, if we start dumping, we could be dumping somewhere down to 48,000, 50,000, because we need a correction, of course, for this to be part of the ABC correction wave. But after that, this could be the completion of the second wave, and we can also be going up to like 120,000, like my prediction is for Bitcoin go to like 150,000, you need to have a dump sometimes, even though this dump is like a 20% correction, we should have like a 30 to 40% correction. So if we go to 140,000, we should ex expect for Bitcoin to do a Elliott wave. And th we could go to 150,000 by August, August, September, somewhere about there because of the stock to flow model. So if we reach there, we should have this correction wave. But we're gonna, if we're gonna keep going on this pace and we're just gonna keep driving like this, going up and up, we could reach there by June or July instead of August. So that would be really awesome. But I think the peak for this gigantic wave would be above uh, about 150, 200,000, then we could have a correction. And after that, then we could be seeing the gigantic rise to a million. But that would have already happened in about 2025. Now, why do I think that the top could be at 66,000 if we get rejected there? Well, one, it is because of this resistance line. And let me just get this line away and maybe I can hide this. But look at this. If we count all the way, by the way, this is the corona dump. If we count all the way from the corona dump to this level where we actually topped out and fell, and we get the Fibonacci extension point from the bottom to the top, and we go down, you can see that we actually already traveled 0 0.7 percent, 0.786. So practically 80 percent of the way, we have already traveled. Now the one point extension would be at 66,800. And so look at this. If we continue at this pace and we go up, this could not be an ABC correction wave. And if we break above 58,000, then the next target would be 66,000. Of course, if we break through this level and we just keep going up, because of course, like I was talking about in my previous videos, Tesla is buying Bitcoin, $1.5 billion. Maybe he already put all of it in, but that's really bullish. So if we break through this level, then the next target is 90,000. But I think we should have some kind of correction because look at this. On the weekly time frame, it's really high. The RSI was actually at 95. And right now, we are having this red candle. And the, the hash ribbons, look at the hash ribbons. Look how squeezed they are. They're practically already coming together. The stochastic RSI on the weekly time frame is actually turning to red on top. So this is bearish for Bitcoin. If we fall down... How, if we keep falling down, it's going to be ba bad. We should get rejected, though. We should be getting rejected off of this level because the 0 0.7... My Fibonacci extension level disappeared, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, Let me show you the 0 0.718 re extension. We should be getting rejected off of this level. If we are doing this ABC correction that I've been talking about in the 4-hour time frame, the tap the top should be either if we're right now getting rejected at 51,400 or go up to like about 52,000 and tap the 0 0.618 ratio 
for this actually extension. So that would be actually a really cool level because it's a 0 0.618 extension for this um, B wave, as you guys can see, like this. And also, it is a 0 0.618 extension for the gigantic extension of the gigantic rise so that is cool if we get rejected off this level we could be dumping to forty two thousand dollars like i said if we dump bef below third like forty two thousand we could be dumping to thirty seven thirty about like somewhere there thirty nine thirty seven and why is this important level because this is your point two three six level and that's after this level that's going to be bad the, the next level it will be down here at 28,000, which is really bad. It's a really big, gigantic dump. So if we break below this level, that's going to be really bad. As soon as we're going to stop right here and going to go up, then we should wait till we break below, above 58,500. After that, the next target would be 66. Of course, if we right now go above this level of 52,300, we just keep pumping because, of course, that is possible because of Tesla and Elon Musk. Then we keep going up and we break through 67,000 and we go up to 92 because that would actually be the next level, the 1.618. If we do that, that would be amazing. But that is really slim. So this is what Bitcoin could be doing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go down below and leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that post notification bell. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!